Man, baby, I've put a lot of miles into this chair. I mean, the arms are jacked up. The back's cracked up a little bit. You know what? It's time for a new one. So you guys, this is my old gaming chair, you guys. I've had it for about five years now. Um, it was a blessing. I didn't have to pay for it. I was just blessed with it. And let me tell you something. This bad boy has seen better days. A lot of mileage on this chair, and I believe it's time for a new one. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, I got a big, big box right here, you guys. And as you can see, it says Respawn. Yes, yes, y'all, this is the new gaming chair. And this gaming chair is the Respawn 110. So, you know, they have a series of like 110 chairs, different colors. Of, and this one is the green one. So the green and black chair right here. I was looking for a different color, but at the time they didn't have a, another color that I could choose from. But this one will work out just fine. So you guys, I'm gonna get ready to get this bad boy unboxed. And you already know, we got Roberta baby on the scene. So let's dive into it. All right, you guys got all the tape cut now opening up the box and first thing man we're presented with the usage info and the instructions on how to put this bad boy together. All right, you guys. So next we're going to get the box cleared out and first up man, we have uh, the base of the chair right here. And up next we have the part that goes under the seat to help adjust the height of the seat. And you guys, right here, I am unwrapping the side panels, if you will, of the chair uh, that help protect the lever and, you know, the different metal parts that are along the sides. All right, you guys, and up next right here, we have one of the arm bars, you know, uh, for uh, the chair. And here is the second arm bar for the chair. So the next thing in the box, you guys, right here is the back of the chair that I am unwrapping. There it is, you guys, check it out. This thing is uh, pretty big, you know, I think it's a little bit bigger than my old chair. And as you can see, it says respawn right there on the top. Next in the box, you guys, is the seat itself. And let me tell you, this is big as well. And up next in the box, you guys, is the headrest to the back of the chair that I'm unwrapping right here. And yes, this bad boy has to be screwed into the back of the chair. And then after we screw it in, it has to be zipped up. Woo! And lastly, you guys, right here uh, in this small box, we have the arm rests that go on the arm bars. And right here we have uh, some more side panels. And here are the wheels to the base. Yes, yes, y'all. And this right here is the part we sit the whole seat on right here to uh, help us adjust the seat and things of that nature. And lastly up in here, man, we got our tools that we need to put this whole chair together. Here we are with the instruction manual, you guys. And so far we followed steps A, B, C, and D so far. And this is what we got. Now steps E, F, G right here, you guys, and H have all been completed. And this is what we got. So you guys, step I requires us to put the back onto the seat and tighten all of that all up. So that's what I'm doing uh, right here. So step I right here is completed. And step J you guys calls for the side panels to be uh, placed on. So that is what I am doing right here, you guys. And now step J is completed. Also you guys, step K it was completed as well. Just calls for the screw covers to be placed on. And now it's time to move on to the last step and that's L. 
And before we move on to that last step, you guys, I want you to get a nice look at the chair right there, you guys. That bad boy is beautiful. It looks nice. You know, I'm gonna share my thoughts because it does have some things that are missing, in my opinion, compared to my other chair. But hey, this is a nice chair. All right, you guys, so got the new game chair in the room. And uh, here's the, the old one, of course. And even when you take a look at both of these chairs, you can see that the new one sits up higher than the old one. So yeah, it, it, it sits way higher. And then even at its lowest, it's still higher. So that's one of the things I like about the new chair. And then of course, it is softer, feels good. It's softer, but firm at the same time. But that that comes with this one being five years old and, and it's it's been broken in a lot. But a few things that I don't like, as we look at the old one, we can see we got a head pillow, you know, and a lumbar pillow. We don't get that over here. And even with the uh, armrest, even though the armrests are jacked up, these armrests here are, are adjustable. On the new ones, they're not adjustable. And you guys, on the old one, this is like cushion, soft. That's plastic on the you know new one, which I don't like, but in the long run, I think this will benefit me more because as you see, these are all ripped up and jacked up. I mean, you might get some scratches on here, but other than that, I, I, I didn't like it or I don't, but I do because it's still gonna benefit me in the end. This uh, chair, it does lean back, but not as far as this chair. This chair leans all the way back flat and with that said, with it linked back flat, you even get this footrest right here. So you can lay out on this one like it's a full bed almost. And I've done that. But that it probably has contributed to the wear and tear on this chair. This one, you don't even get the leg rest or any of that. It doesn't lay out like that. But do I need that? Not really. I mean, I got it here. I'm not really going to get rid of this chair or throw it away or anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it. But... It just started to not feel as good anymore and it was irritating so i am very happy so far with the respawn chair uh just testing it out for these few hours or whatnot that i've had it and it, it it feels good so you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and share your thoughts on the respawn 110 gaming chair that i have here Oh yeah, I would love to hear what you think, especially if you are an owner of this chair already, or maybe you're looking to get your first gaming chair or replace your old one, kind of like I did. Let your boy know what you are thinking in the comment section down below, and you know what else to do, right? Don't forget to share this video. See you later, baby, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified when I'm doing new videos. Until next time, thank you guys for tuning in.